In this video, I want to show you the difference between the standard torque converter seal that is used on the 4R100 automatic transmissions with Ford and the Viton seal for the torque converter. Now, I went back and forth on this a lot. I didn't really know what to do at first. Uh, I ordered a kit for this transmission. It came with a regular gray seal, as you can see here. No part number on it anywhere, just generic part, but it looked like the same thing. Here's the one that I took out of the transmission. It's a little marred up, you know, from getting it out of there. But anyway, that's that's the one there. But I just kept hearing story after story of uh, people saying that these seals didn't hold, they didn't last, they'd blow out. And people were recommending that you use a Viton seal. So I tried to find one, tried to find one, couldn't find one. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll get the part from the Ford dealer. Surely that's gonna be the most updated, latest and greatest part that you can get. So here's that part. It has a Ford part number stamped on it. Uh, the seal surface appears to be a little bit more stout, a little bit bigger. However, as I was still looking around doing research, I happened to find a Viton seal on Amazon. And here is, uh, in case any of you are curious about this, here's the part number for it. Uh, actually, there it is, yep. Uh, that E9TZ7A248-B, that is the part number that you need. Pretty sure if you just Google that part number or look it up on Amazon, you can find this. But here is the seal. As you can see, the rubber is a different color. This is a brown. And uh, already, just looking at the seal, you can see how much thicker and how much more stout that is. I'm going to set these side by side with the Motorcraft part and the Viton seal here so you guys can see the difference. Right off the bat, you'll notice how much, how much thinner the lip of this seal is compared to the Viton seal. See the difference there? You can see how much thicker this seal is compared to this one. And that's what I think is going to make the big, biggest difference with this, this seal. Uh, you know, you flip it over and it looks pretty much the same except, and once again, this lip is a little bit more stout. You can see the difference there. This one's more flush. This one's a little bit more beefy. So it's just going to seal better. It's going to last longer. If you guys are doing this job, on your 4R100 transmission in your Ford truck, definitely recommend you get that part. I never had the opportunity to compare them side by side like this until I finally got my hands on one. Now I see what everyone is saying. So if you're doing this job, do yourself a favor and get the Viton seal. Once again, here's a part number for you guys, E9TZ7A248B. If you get that seal, that's the one you want to do this job. Again, Part from Amazon, the original part, part from Ford, the Viton seal. Here's four of them all laid out. Got a cheap one that comes with the kit, the original one that was in the transmission, the Ford part, and the Viton seal. So you can see, Viton seal is much more stout. It's gonna last a lot longer and prevent leaks. Hope you guys found this helpful and interesting. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.